President Obama and his team hope big rallies like today's will rekindle the passion that propelled Democrats to victory in 2008. Hello, Philadelphia! But the polls say most of the enthusiasm this year is on the Republican side. So Democrats are also on the attack. This new ad from the Democratic National Committee alleges that Republican consultants Carl Rove and Ed Gillespie and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce are accepting secret donations from overseas. They're stealing our democracy, spending millions from secret donors to elect Republicans to do their bidding in Congress. The Chamber of Commerce called the claims ridiculous and false and said the $100,000 it receives from overseas affiliates isn't used for political campaigning, which would be illegal. On Face the Nation, presidential counselor David Axelrod offered no proof of any wrongdoing, but said he's still skeptical. We now see tens of millions of dollars being spent by the chamber and a, a number of organizations, some of which just cropped up. Ed Gillespie and Karl Rove won, uh, uh, run one of them. Why not simply disclose where this money is coming from? Rove and Gillespie called the ad and Axelrod's question a political ploy. David Axelrod is either woefully uninformed or willfully deceptive. This is a desperate and I think disturbing trend by the President of the United States to tar his political adversaries with some kind of, you know, enemies list with being uh, unrestrained by any facts or, uh, or evidence whatsoever. But the president today continued to hammer unlimited election spending without disclosure by certain groups, permitted now by a recent Supreme Court decision. The American people deserve to know who's trying to sway their elections. And you can't stand by and let special interests drown out the voices of the American people. Rallies like this may be good for getting Democrats to the polls, but where the president will be spending most of his time over the next several weeks is raising money, and lots of it. Russ? Bill Plant with the president in Philadelphia. Thanks.